I think melanoma had kind of hit a, a, a little bit of a plateau. So we had anti-PD-1 come out, anti-CTLA-4 come out, and, and, and these things really revolutionized the melanoma landscape. And in that way, you know, immunotherapy then went to other cancers and really started changing the natural history in those cancers as well. So I, I think um, we haven't had anything super new <laughs> since then. We've been following long-term outcomes, and I think that's incredibly responsible since since the trials in melanoma were the first trials. And so we are starting to see some very, very long-term outcomes. I think that's pretty exciting. I, I think it gives us much more information when we talk to our patients. Are we looking at, are we looking at remission? Are we looking at cure? What are the important, um, what are the important clinical markers? So for instance, there is a, an abstract about um, the six and a half year follow up with Ibinivo. And, you know, we're really looking at how long can you be off therapy and not ever need a therapy, you know, time to subsequent therapy, that that kind of thing, I think we're going to start to see more and more of. So I actually think that that's, that gets us into the realm of survivorship for some of these patient populations for which we really never had survivorship. We were just trying to give people a little bit more time, but now we're talking about such long-term survival, we're talking about survivorship. So I think that's that's up and coming with immunotherapy. Um, I think the other thing that we're excited to see this ASCO, especially in melanoma, are treatments that look promising beyond immunotherapy. So when, there's a, when we see immunotherapy resistance are, you know, not quite magic bullets, but <laughs> but you know, really game changers. When our game changers don't work, we haven't had anything. So this is really cool to see. So now we're seeing more combinations. So immunotherapy plus DKI, an abstract on that. Um, uh, more data on TIL therapy. I think that that's uh, coming hopefully sooner rather than later. But these are the things that I think will get us off that melanoma plateau, which is a great plateau to be on, <laughs> and push us up to a new level.